Hi, welcome to the next session of IBM Security Guardium Key Lifecycle Manager, also known as GKLM. In this session, we will talk about different deployment options of GKLM, and we will also cover one installation on a distributed platform, namely Windows. GKLM is available to be installed on two editions. It can be installed on distributed platforms with GKLM traditional and on container platforms with GKLM container. GKLM traditional can be installed on Linux and its flavors, AIX and Windows. GKLM container can be deployed on Kubernetes, Red Hat OpenShift container platform and IBM ZOS container extensions. The support matrix link for supported operating systems is also provided in the description of this video. Starting with installing GKLM Traditional, the installation process of GKLM Traditional involves planning activities, installation steps, and post-installation tasks. Moving on to installing GKLM Container, the containerized GKLM application provides a simpler installation and easier upgrade experience. Out of these deployment ways, now let's see the installation of GKLM on one of the distributed platforms like Windows in graphical user interface mode. Before you begin, download the installation package from IBM Passport Advantage. Ensure that your system meets the minimum software and hardware requirements for installation. Steps at a high level include performing the installation and then verifying the installation. After you download the installation package, unzip the contents into a directory of your choice. As you can see, there are two zip files for Windows. Extract contents of both the files at the same location. Make sure to save the disk1 and disk2 folders at the same location. Open the disk1 folder, locate the launchpad which is the executable file and double click to start the launchpad. Select the language of your choice and click enter. The installer then runs the prerequisite checks to verify requirements such as operating system requirements, hardware requirements including system memory, processor speed and hard disk space. The installation process proceeds only when all these requirements are met. The installation manager is then displayed. Review the list of software packages and click next to continue. Accept the license agreements and click next to proceed. Keep the default settings and click next. This window shows the default installation location of GKLM and its components. Let us retain the default path and click Next. Features listed on this window will be installed. Click Next. Enter the password for the DB2 administrator and ensure that the specified port is available for DB2. Now click Next. Specify the admin ID for GKLM profile and then specify its password. Remember these credentials for future usage. The standard default port 9443 for HTTPS is used. Let us retain the default value and click Next. Review your choices before you install the product package. To change the value, click back. And to proceed with the installation, click install. The installation process might take more than 30 minutes to complete. The entire installation process is not shown for brevity.
if you can see a green tick symbol, it means your installation was complete and successful. Verify with the displayed list if all the packages that you had selected were installed. Now that your installation is complete, click finish to exit the installation manager. Now to verify the installation, open GKLM in a browser and enter this URL. The value of IP address is an IP address or DNS address of GKLM. The value port is the HTTPS port of GKLM which was provided during installation. GKLM also has a short login URL that can be easily remembered which consists of just the IP address and port. It appears insecure because the certificate which is used to access the graphical user interface is not trusted. We will come up with another video session on how to add the certificate to the trust too. The GKLM login page is then displayed which indicates that the installation is successful. Login with your GKLM administrator ID and password. Once you are logged in, to confirm your version of GKLM, check the About section under Help. For more information, refer to the GKLM IBM documentation. The link is provided in the description of the video. Some more useful links are also provided in the description of the video for your information. We will soon come up with another session for installing GKLM in a Linux system. Thank you for watching.